Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another programming video. I've been flip-flopping between Python and C Sharp recently. And uh, something I wanna do in the future, let me know what you think if you're watching this video. I wanna do a little Angular tutorial. I've been teaching myself Angular, and I thought maybe I can help some other folks out. But this probably isn't the most interesting video that I've done. If you wanna see an interesting video, I just released how to encrypt a string in Python using the command line, and you can also store your key in a file, which I thought was pretty cool. So I literally just hit make that public. So feel free to check that out. It'll be the video before this one. Today we're gonna talk about, and it's gonna be a quick video, um, but I was hoping that this may help someone in the future and that's what this channel is. So feel free to subscribe if you like this kind of content, varying different topics, and hopefully you know people benefit from, from all these videos in some way. Today we're gonna talk about the accept method using system.link and what it does. I had this question working um, last week and that's where a lot of these videos come from is I have a question at work, I answer my question and I'm like, well, maybe I can make a video out of that because if I had that question, I'm sure someone else does. And what does this accept method do? What I was trying to do was I had two lists of data and it had like 100,000 integers in one list and maybe I don't I don't remember how many were in the other one but I'm like I want to subtract one list from the other list how do I go about doing that and in my case everything was unique in each list there wasn't duplicates of any list and that's going to be important when we're using the accept method and I'll show you why because maybe you're expecting a different outcome so I have two lists here I just have a quick example I have ints and then ints2 which are both lists of integer let me zoom in just to make sure you can see and you can see that we're using system.link and what we want to do like i said is i have this ints list and in my case it was like a hundred thousand values so you can imagine trying to write out uh, a loop and it's got a loop through a hundred thousand i'm like maybe maybe there's a better way as for speed i don't know if this is any better or not than looping through so I want to subtract this ints2 list from this ints. My thought process being, well, one is in both, so we can subtract that. Two is in both, so we can subtract that. And let me maybe just add a few more to this. Uh, four is in there, five is in there, but three, four, and five are not in ints2, this list. So if I were to subtract this from this one, only these three would come out, right? And that's exactly what I want to do, and that's where I found the six step method. And let's just go ahead and we'll create an I enumerable, I enumerable, that's a mouthful, because that's what this method returns, and it's going to be of type integer, and you can think of an I enumerable or an enumerable as just an iterable data set. And I'm gonna call this, if I can spell final ints, and uh, that's just going to be equal to ints dot accept and then whatever we're subtracting from it. So in our case, ints2. And then if I wanted to, I could use the for each, which we can use with any variation of an enumerable. So a list is actually, uh, the base class of a list is an I enumerable. And I think the same is with a stack and a dictionary. I could be wrong, you might wanna check that. But we can use for each here and say for each um, var val in final int. So I was getting ahead of myself typing there. Let's just print out. Jeez, I think I'm in. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm in um, Python here. Console dot write line val. Maybe I don't want to write line. Maybe I just want to write. Eh, we'll keep it write line. And then at the end, console dot read, just so we can be able to read what's written before it disappears. So. In theory, we should have three, four, and five come up because we're subtracting the second one from the first. And let's make sure this works. And here, hopefully you can see it. We have three, four, and five written out. So I mentioned before at the start of this, in my case, this was good because I didn't have duplicate values. Like I didn't have a couple twos or maybe three twos in here. Everything was unique in this list and everything was unique in this list. And so why that matters is when you're doing something like this, let's say you have multiple twos like I do here and only one two in here, you might be expecting, well, it's gonna subtract this two, but these two twos are going to be left in here. Well, that's not what actually happens. It goes ahead and it subtracts every single instance of that number in our case. So if we start this, uh, let me see first. 
and run this, I'll show you that, yeah, we might be expecting a couple twos here at the end, but we just get back what we got the first time, three, four, and five. And you can do this with different data types. So let me change this to string, and I'm just going to keep ints, even though it, it really doesn't make sense, right? But whatever, bear with me. Um, we're going to keep string in here, and then I'm just going to put a couple strings in this, say test, I guess, as one, and then um, double. I don't know why <laughs> I chose that, but there you go. And then in this one, we're just going to put test, same capitalization of the T, and then instead of int, we're going to change this to string. And hopefully, I think this should run. And only double prevails because it subtracted test and test was in the first list. So you can do it with different data types if you want. In my case, it was integers, but you get the point. Um, so that's the accept method. Hopefully that helps some of you guys that might have a question. How do I subtract a list from another list? And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you like this. And I hope to see you in the next video.